احباب سارے آئے تو نے یہ دن دکھائے تیرے کرم نے پیارے یہ مہرباں بلائے السلام علیکم آئی ایم اسٹینڈنگ ان فرنٹ آف دا فاضل یوما ماسک ان ڈیٹن اوہائیو This historic mosque was first constructed by the local members of the community. This is the next stop on Hazur's 2012 tour of the USA. And inshallah, he will rededicate it during his time here in Dayton, Ohio. Dayton is um, about 300 miles south of Chicago. We got this great news that uh, Hazrat uh, Khalifat al-Masih is visiting us. Everyone is excited to see our beloved Imam. So we're very happy and elated that he will be here to visit us in June. And we are very fortunate that uh, due to the blessings of Hazrat Khalifa al-Masih the fifth, Ayyadallahu ta'ala ibn Nisra Aziz, yeah, we got this uh, great gift of God, uh, this beautiful mosque. We have uh, created different departments for the preparation of Hazur's arrival. As we await our beloved Imam's arrival, let's go back in time and explore some of the history of Ahmadiyyat in America. The Dayton Jamaat is among the earliest in America. The Jamaat was founded by the propagation efforts of Abdul Latif, an early convert to Ahmadiyyat. Through his efforts, he brought to Ahmadiyyat other founding members of the Jamaat. It was the efforts of these African-American converts to Islam Ahmadiyyat that Dayton became an early hub of activity. The first annual convention of the Ahmadiyya Muslim Community USA was held in Dayton on September 5th, 1948. In 1949, Wally Kareem and his wife donated a plot of land to the Jamaat for the construction of a mosque and mission house. It consisted of one hall, two bathrooms, kitchen, and one furnished room. Most of the work was done by Wakari Amal. The mosque was completed in September 1965 and was adorned with a dome and two minarets. It is considered the first purpose-built Ahmadiyya mosque in the USA. Later, Joseph Solana of 1965 was held in this mosque Fazl i Umar. Some famous devotees of Jamaat belong to Dayton, like Dr. Muzaffa Ahmed Zafar, the ex Sadr Qadamu Ahmadiyya, National Sadr, and ex National Vice Emir. Ex Emir Jamaat has read Saib Zadr, Mirza Muzaffa Ahmed, started reconstruction and repair of this mosque, and this was completed in March of 2012. So it's a, it's a double blessing that we got the masjid, this mosque in uh, February of this year. And uh, then Huzur, Hazrat Amirul Mumineen Ayyadawla Ta'ala bin Aslazir, inshallah, 
will be arriving in my region on June 18, 2012. Khalaf it means to me as I'm a passenger and the Khalaf is the, is, is the driver, driving me in the direction of where Islam wants to be or where Islam should be or where Islam is going to be. Khalifa Adam-e Awal Khalifa Adam-e Akhir Azal se ta abad daste Khuda wandi khilafat gar Azal se ta abad daste Khuda wandi being an African American in America and being Muslim, there's no there's no other sect of religion that I would ever want to be aware or where their other faith. Ahmadiyyad is the true faith. Ahmadiyyad is true, the true Caliphate. Yehi tu fan hasti me. Tinya ba. Tinya ba. Yehi takdeer ummat ka darakh shanda se tara hai. Yehi takdeer ummat ka. I have never met a Khalifa Hazor or nothing in my life, but to me it's just a life changing experience, honestly. Like, Khilafat ab paashi hai Yehi ak se khuda vandi hai Aainai hasti mein Yeh pegham e suku saazi Hai hangamo ki basti mein Yeh pegham most of my life I've been searching and searching and searching nothing else made sense but until I started working with my brothers uh, in Illinois and I started learning about Islam Ahmadiyya then it all just started to finally click and make sense to me I've been practicing. I've been praying and practicing Islam for the last about three years or so. Before that, I was raised as a Christian, but I didn't really practice very much until like about five years ago when I found out about Ahmadiyya from my uh, second family, as I call them. And in my heart, I finally, I was like, this is the truth. It is the absolute truth. And I accepted it. And by the grace of God, I'm here. Ki <laughs> ko